I do think dating is harder now than it ever was because of all the like technology and social media we have. It creates problems that didn't exist before. Like for instance, that last girlfriend and I almost broke up one time like months before we actually did because we put our apartment on Airbnb and we rented it to a woman and that woman forgot a pair of her panties in our bedroom. And somehow they got kicked underneath the bed and then just hung out there for like two weeks. And then my girlfriend at the time, she found them when I was out doing a comedy show one night. And I get it. That looks pretty suspicious, right? So she called me super angry and upset, but I wasn't cheating on her. So I got weirdly confused and defensive because I didn't understand what was going on. You know, she was like, why are there women's panties underneath our bed? And I was like, because sometimes you don't pick up your laundry. <laughs> And she was like, no, it's a different woman's panties. And I was like, oh, are you cheating on me with another woman? And she was like, no, you're cheating on me with another woman. And I was like, if I ever cheat on you, it will be with a type of woman who doesn't wear panties. And then we laughed and laughed because we both know that would never happen. Not that guy. Technology is giving us access to strangers like we have never had before, but it is not giving us any more information about them. And yet, we're all okay doing certain things simply because technology is involved that without technology would seem nuts. The best example of that is Uber, right? Because we're all just getting into strangers' cars and hoping we make it because our phone said it was okay. <laughs> what? That's nuts. Like, Uber is nothing more than technology-sanctioned hitchhiking. We are hitchhiking with our phones instead of our thumbs. We're like, Steve Jobs said it was okay, so... <laughs> there was, like, a news story, like, three years ago. A dude in Detroit was driving for Uber, and he ended up murdering, like, three or four people while he was driving for Uber. And a bunch of my friends heard that, and they were shocked. They were like, oh, how could he do that? And I was like, are you dumb? That makes perfect sense to me. That makes perfect sense to me. If I was a murderer, I would definitely drive for Uber. <laughs> oh, 10 years ago, I used to have to go to dark alleyways and truck stops. Now people just get in my car. It's great. <laughs> I mean, I only have one star because of the killings. <laughs> but nobody ever looks at that. Thank you, Uber. <laughs> We're all afraid of being like that old guy that doesn't know how technology works, right? Nobody wants to be that guy. I had an experience with that guy recently. I was in a Starbucks, and there was like a 65 or 70-year-old guy who did not know how the internet on your cell phone works because he kept pressing the home button on his iPhone and going, join the Wi-Fi in Starbucks. Connect to Starbucks Wi-Fi, and that's not how it works. So he was like getting more and more frustrated. Where I was like, "Dang, damn it! Connect to Starbucks Wi-Fi, this darn thing!" And I felt bad, so I walked up to him and I was like, "Excuse me, sir, let me help you." And then he snatched his phone away, and he was like, "I don't need your help. I know how technology works." <laughs> like he was a real jerk about it. It caught me super off guard. I like took a half step back. I was like, "I'm sorry, sir." I I just, I just wanted to tell you that you're doing everything right, you just have to say it louder. <laughs> and then I walked out of Starbucks as he was yelling at his phone, join the Wi-Fi! 